morning friends, YouTubers, subscribers, non-subscribers, JW Solar USA. I just want to show you what's going on this morning here in uh, Minnesota. It's raining. Bad weather today. So well, not really, literally. But uh, still making power. Look at that, it's raining, raining. Grass is getting green. You know, it's not a bright like you guys seen. It's just the camera is just um, um, enhancing the picture because when it gets uh, you point it to um, a darker place, it enhances the picture like it's really bright. Well, here goes the skies right there. There goes the skies, cloudy, cloudy, rainy, 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 look at that, see that, the camera has a sensor that just trying to give you a perfect picture of the, um, what you're trying to shoot, but so far so good, that's all we got today. Rainy, windy, 50, 56 degrees. Temperature is okay, it's really nice. Let's see? Here we go. There you go. It's raining. Raining, see the water coming up? Rough. There goes the skies, clouds. There we go. Sorry for the wind. Yeah. What? From outside. Cloudy, cloudy weather. And um, still doing his job. You know, we're in 28 point. Uh, one volt the batteries are six, sitting at a 26.4 and 0.1 amp and point zero point two amps to the batteries and we are in full charge i'll show you here we go with the whiz bang jr and that's the proof right there so batteries are sitting at 100%. I used them last night. You know, folks, when you build a good system, you really build a good system. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all what kind of weather you have, raining, snowing, you know, hail, hurricane, Tornadoes, all that kind of stuff. Your system's supposed to work if you really design it right. You know, right now the system I just I only have a little load, whatever it is, is a point three, zero point three amps coming out from the battery. You know, refrigerators are all freezers are all um, recycling right now. I'm still sitting at a hundred percent. See, Wiz Bank Junior is not gonna lie to you at all. See that? Here we go. Again, it's reading a hundred percent. So the Wiz Bank Junior is reading a hundred percent. He's reading a hundred percent as well. Well, that's what is coming out from the solar ray as of now. I speak right there so it's just a little jump right there 1.8 watt point zero seven zero six twenty six point four three volt see that comes to the outback so you maximize it and gives you point ten watt that's the thing about the MPPT, maximum PowerPoint tracking.
That's what he does. See that? Whosoever doesn't understand what the MPPT means is a maximum maximum PowerPoint tracking. So I'll show you right here. See that? 0.8. Okay, 1.8 watt. We just made a watt. And look at the amps coming in. 0. 0. 0.07. Okay? Here we go. This is what the Outback is doing. Just like when you amplified or when you maximize or you energize any word you want to use to make it work from 0.8 watt to 0 0.010 that's 10 watt see that it makes up about uh, see that almost about 0.7 Almost went seven, seven, I think seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's um almost seven point something watts. Uh, the <clears throat> outback increased. So we have uh, point two to the battery. That's the job for the MPPT. Maximum PowerPoint tracking. See that right there? It's on bulk mode. And check this out. 450 amp hours. That's my battery bank exactly. And it's full. He only <clears throat> this thing can only comes to um only comes to 450 when the batteries are charged and uh, it resets automatically resets the soc of the battery the shunt and reset it so you for you to have 100 if you didn't make it 100 percent it's not gonna reset if the batteries are not full it's not gonna go 100 percent till it resets the thing automatically so this is what is going on right now see that 100 percent and it's gonna be like this all day folks and I'm gonna still survive and my system is gonna still kick in I know probably we can have kind of the white um, clouds gonna be really bit brighter later but we we were not promised to have any Sun today at all at all but this is how the system is working and this is how it should work because this is the way I design it according to my location, according to the climate here in Minnesota. If you guys have any idea where Minnesota is, we are on the northwest, almost to the north, close to Canada, not too far away from Canada. It's cold, winter, snowy, all kind of weather you think we can have them here. Rain, sun, heat, and uh, snow. You know, I don't have to go to any other state to experience or any country to experience um, um, different kind of weathers. You know, it's going to be in the middle of July or June. They said um, it's going to be hail. And you can see hail like a, uh, almost like a baseball or uh, a baseball hail coming down. That's true. Just be prepared. It's going to happen. See? We just got an uh, improvement here right now. Something happened. Well, the SunTech solar panels are doing the job. We step up instead of 1.8 and we went to 2.3 watts at 0.9 amps. I'm telling you, this system is working. This system works. I love this system. Now, I encourage anyone haven't tried uh, the SunTech monocrystalline solar panels I have a SunTech 160 watt solar modules here they're very close to uh, they're very close to 10 amps 
what one of them can uh, uh, produce okay you see that right there it just turned to an amp that's just an amp right there the solar panels are awesome they're doing a fantastic job and um, the Outback system is doing fantastic job the classic is doing awesome fantastic and all the kind of good stuff you think so I have a good system here I have a good system I really thank God for the uh, provision for me to afford stuff like this and uh, I'm thanking to the engineers and uh, creators and uh, software um, the IT guys and all the stuff for us to have this opportunity to able to uh, manipulate and to able to enjoy this facility you know though we pay for it but you know if it wasn't for them shouldn't I have solar scientists and all the good stuff that put all this technology together and fall right into our hands right now we as um, consumers we can able to utilize it so look what is coming right now in is one is an point one amp and uh, we put it back to the battery point two so these are the results right here see that those are the results and we are doing good right here so we just made about two watt right now two watt and 0.12 amp coming in this meter is connect, uh, connected before any of the power comes to the charge controllers it goes through here first from the solar panels here first before it transmit to um, the shunt and all from transmit to the whiz bank junior and going to um, the charge controllers so this is the wattage that is coming right now see that I designed it just so I can see exactly what is coming in on what weather, on what situation, and how efficient for each uh, charge controller. Okay, we're making a progress. Point three, four watt. So all the system is doing right now is just a trickle charge to the batteries and keep on pushing more pressure to the batteries as we go here and you know one thing uh, the outback like this kind of weather it, it likes this kind of weather is because it like to uh, um, it likes to um, you know how someone like to uh, manage a little bit of power it's just like I was saying the sensitive uh, software 0 0.003.003.000 .003 he's doing an awesome job you know I don't know people already checked it out but so far so good I'm not making up these stories but uh, I saw a great 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 difference with um, this new software yeah software is doing awesome see almost bringing it about three Point three amps to the battery now look at that we jump in it's 28 volts coming in point two point two amps from the solar array and let me show you these guys this is what is coming from the solar array see that was a point two here is a point one seven so the MPPT is kicking it's working doing its job fantastic Check this one. This is what I did just now. Push the GT, but sorry, I didn't put it on the camera. And the GT, um, it just dropped. It went to about 30 volts coming in. So GT is pushing more higher voltage so that um, we can push this the battery like going to float mode. But you're going to see the amps coming up. 
and we're in a GT. So here I gotta show you guys. I put it in GT. That's a grid type. Okay. Right here. See that? He's putting it to work. He's drawing every single bit of power from those solar modules. Now we went to 5.2, remember? Check the video out and see. See now, we went up to 5.5 watt. 5.8 is going to 6. So in the GT mode, it's pushing, it's pushing the panels, pushing everything. Say, give me whatever you have. Say, I need every sing single bit of power from those solar. Yeah, it's cloudy outside and um, that's what he's doing. He's pushing it, pushing it, pushing harder. See? And um, that's one thing about the Outback. It, 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 outback like that, this kind of challenging weathers. You know, throughout winter, it has been doing this. See that? At first, if you guys watch, it was like minus 3, minus 2 on the amps. Now it's minus 1 because the amps are rising. They're going up. It's coming in and it's almost going to zero it out. It's going to go 0, 0.0 or just going to go on the positive now. See that? This is what is going on right here. See? It's pushing 2.4. It's bringing almost half an amp. Half an amp to the battery. It's almost half an amp. And sitting at 28.0. So remember, we're still sitting at 26.4. These batteries can go all the way about 20... It's going to go up to about 29, you know, on a float mode, on a 24-volt system. And I'm using 150 amp hour pump battery. I have six of them. So if I connect them in parallel, it's going to be 900 amp hours. If you guys been watching my videos, my first videos, I used to have a 12-volt system. It's 900 amp hour battery bank. So by going to 24, the batteries, uh, the voltage goes up. So I series them and parallel them. And I end up uh, losing half of that. So it's, uh, after 900, it's going to be 450. So I have 450 amp hours. I'm playing with right now, 24 volts. High volt, higher the volt, lower the amps. So that's what is happening right here. So... So that means I'm running efficient, I'm running really efficient. It's just you, I just break the uh, the amperage to half to two. So system is doing good. It's an amazing system. Look at that. 6.5, 6 6.3 watt solar panels bring it right now and it's 10 watt here still 10 watt the amps are going up well this is just another video just to show you guys just to prove things on different kind of weathers I would like to shoot videos like this just to show you how the system works and this system really works and here is the time Here's the time again. Remember, I was pushing on uh, good weathers. I was pushing. Yeah, that's the inside temperature. And uh, weathers like this. Before that, uh, no, weathers, um, time like that. You remember, I used to show you. The morning hours peak and all the stuff. You know, I always be here first thing in the morning and I'm leaving uh, the house, heading to work. So these are all the stuff going on. At this time, on a good weather, we bring in a lot of power, a lot of watts, a lot of amps. 
but this is what we're bringing right now and the batteries are still full and uh, right here from the classic we spank junior and here the outback system is just kicking it's working and working 20 minutes of video again guys another waste another 20 minutes of video and video sometimes are long but just want to prove things that makes science really interesting because you got to prove make proofs proofs about things because we have um skeptics out there who don't just believe that it's gonna solar works but that's why i normally make my videos long because people can see and prove things to them you know i don't edit them i just put them there because i want you guys to see anyone who's interested in this uh, particular um hobby or solar wind or whatever you know instead of um it answers questions instead of people asking a lot of questions how this this how that that tell this thing you know what just watch the video then you will see exactly follow this channel right here JW Solar USA I'll bring you all the latest here from the Northwest Minnesota land of 10,000 lakes we have 10,000 lakes here fellows 10,000 lakes we have a lot of water that's why it's really cold 10,000 lakes is saluting you right here from the command center JW Solar USA signing out
Well, I just proved it. You know, like I was telling you guys, I like proving things. See right there? Zero. It was minus, minus 0.3. Rewind the video and look at it. I was telling you it's going to zero out in a few minutes. And that's what it, <laughs> that just happened right there. So now nothing is coming out from the battery. It's uh, feeding direct from the solar. We're not taking nothing from the batteries. The video already ended, but I was just waiting to prove it. And there it is, right there. It's just zero. And you guys have seen the weather out there. It's constantly raining. See, the volts went up to 30. And we put in half an amp to the battery. Told you, out back like this kind of weathers. You know, we've been together for a long time. On winter, all kind of weather, snowing, the snow's gonna cover all the panels, but this this thing still works. And the classic is just fantastic. The classic's just an awesome machine really awesome look at that we went to the positive point one not on the negative anymore point one so we're making progress yes yeah we made a progress see that 10 watt 10 watt almost point four amp coming from the solar ray we made a four watt on the energy that's the battery states right there. It's uh, the battery voltage, 26.4. Yep. 26.4 from the outback. Everything is accurate. Everything is working right. This system is working great. Well, for you folks that lost my channel, <clears throat> there's another proof again on uh, weather and um, I'm still standing I'm still standing like one of my subscribers always say my YouTube friend so you gotta build a system that stands on different weather a system that can sustain you in any situation a system that is uh, powerful it rains and it snows and whatever weather smoky smoke burning smoke or whatever it is when it's smoky and cloudy and raining and snowing your system's supposed to work that's what they call a good system look at that we just jumped to 20 watt 20 watt and we bring in 0.6 amps to the battery awesome 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 system you know, you got to know what you do and, uh, you know, you can have all the machines, but if you don't put them into use, the right way they're supposed to operate is just going to be uh, no good result at all. I'm reaping from what I saw right here. You guys can see. So it's another 30 minute video again. Just approve how what these systems can do on weathers like this. I live in Minnesota. You look it up, Google it. You can see on the map and read all about Minnesota. It's gonna tell you. So if I can survive here, and if my system can do well here, my system can do well everywhere, anywhere, everywhere. In the world because this system can even operate in Alaska even if they said Alaska is too much snow and all that this system can still operate there so I just want to give shout out to all the fans all over the world watching my videos and you know Canada Jamaica Israel and uh, 
all the other uh, channels, people watching me, Britain, Caribbean countries, everywhere, my subscribers, all over there. There, yeah, I just made you guys a good video. And uh, these are all countries, Africa and uh, Nigeria. You guys are watching my videos there. You know, Italy, Australia, and uh, all the good stuff. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and thank you for subscribing. If you haven't been a subscriber yet, please subscribe because this channel is bringing you all you want to know, all the proofs and all the whistles, bells and whistles. And, you know, if not for you guys, I'm not going to do this because this takes a lot of commitment, a lot of work, a lot of adjustment, a lot of calculations. But I want to show you guys this system works. This system works. I don't have the best system out there. There are people who knows how to build systems. There are a lot of people that does a lot of work. You don't have to have too much knowledge about this. You have to learn. Just watch channels that are really uh, inspirational, that are educational. You know, they, there are a lot of people out there. If I started calling names, I would go and go and go because... They have awesome systems, which mine is not even close with their system. They have machines, but you know what? I love my system as well, just like I love theirs. But my system is my system. I'll be proud of my system because I built it. I built it, and I test it, and it works. And it really works for me. This is the proof I'm showing you guys, folks. Just have to take your time and do the right thing. And uh, if you need help, consult the right people. They'll give you the right answers. There are people out there, you know, um, they have systems that, uh, that works for them for uh, different locations. But uh, according to a location, you can't compete with a system that is sitting in a tropical weather. All year round is sunny. You know, you want to check with a system that can survive in different climatical conditions like mine here. You know, more heavy snow, more cold or rains and whatever. You know, if you want to build a system, build a system according to your location and search for videos that people almost like your location, your situation, then you can build your system right and resize it. This is the word of the day. You know, I don't compete with people with a tropical weather and all that thing. If my system can speak for itself, if my system can speak for itself on any condition, well, if I take it to their uh, places, then I will survive. I will do awesome job just like them. But this is...